Hi, my friends and family. My name is Trey Smith. <clears throat> this is my channel on YouTube, and Odyssey Trey's Myths and Tunes in my sh daily ritual. Trey's 15 minutes of splain. Today, my discussion is called The Cremation and Resurrection of Care. Pray, Charles, keep on preaching while the soldiers keep on warring. The world, it keeps on turning, cause it won't be too long, I'm so glad that they let me try this again, cause the last time I lived I knew a whole world of sin, I'm so glad I know more than I knew then. I gotta keep on trying and playing and working my best till I reach the highest ground. No one's gonna bring me down. Till I reach the highest ground. The cremation and resurrection of care. The idea for this came from, again, um, I study YouTube videos made by a man, long videos made by a man who was a priest in the Satanic Church uh, ordained by Anton LaVey to be a high priest. And so um, he was speaking about the Bohemian Grove ritual here in um, several counties over above San Francisco, California. Were these big wigs the same guys, surely, who, some of the same guys who orchestrated the lockdown and forced you all to take the shot and all that? Well, they do a ritual in, the, in their bo private Bohemian Grove Club where they worship the Moloch that Alex Jones began his whole career um, of sharing information with breaking in there and doing a top secret investigation and um, this one ritual they do is called the cremation of care or the death of care so um, the idea is that um, you know they burn something I don't know or they, and whether it's a small animal or whatever the, the effigy and the idea of the ritual is you, it burns away that they care about anything, you know, the care, the idea of care, that they have any sense of care. And it's a satanic ritual that burns away their sense of care, right? So what I'm saying is that we must have, I have to teach, and many, many more people are going to have to teach the resurrection or the resurgence or the revival of care, human care, actual human care, not this fake altruism, Covert Illuminati um, blood rituals, international experiment, um, nanobot sacrifice. No. You know, the actual recreation or resurrection of care, human care. The mainstream media, um, you know, Disney, sitcoms of all, all stripes, um, they teach irreverence, okay? As I've said in my previous broadcast, um, they train people to have a sense of sarcasm towards celestial truths. It's just, just a uh, covert mind control in your face. But always remember, evil doesn't care. Evil doesn't care. Has no care. No sense of care. Humans... 
Humans must live. Humans must surf. Humans must cruise. But evil is that force that says halt. You don't have the rent. Halt. You don't have the tax. Halt. You don't have the permit. Halt. You're not in the club. Halt. You're not wealthy. Halt. You're not a woman. That's what some of the Craigslist ads around here say. Even though it's against the law, they still do it. Um, so um, this is collusion to mind control tyranny uh, on the mind level, coerced. Uh, the acceptance of evil, as I've said before, and others, the Pollyanna New Age death cult, or as Mark Passio calls, the, the new cage. Is this idea that you know, la di da, um, live and let live, allow evil to do what it wants, it doesn't matter, you know, it's collusion, okay? You're coerced into social apathy, and many people feel this through being forced to be a slave for the box and the Saturn cube, hex, hex of rent, it's especially around here where the rent, or some place where the rent's high. This 3D survival dog-eat-dog, Again, it's a mind control religious programming of the deceitful ones of the Rainmaker, the Decepticons. Um, one, one spot, okay, like there's one place. It's either you or them. This is what every narcissist thinks. And again, the narcissist is on a suicide path because they're programmed by the deceiver, the archons, the demiurge to to want to fight over everything and dominate. And so they can't um, actually ever come to peace because it's a subtle um, subconscious um, obedience. Social competition, okay? I don't care about you. I got to go to work. I got to pay my bills. That's all mind control talk, okay? Social competence. Caring about all Okay, it's the key is you have to care about everyone, everything. Okay, you might not have equal respect. That some violent psychopath or some method or some alcoholic, sure you're not going to want to share your aura, your physical space with them as much. Okay, or whatever you say hi, try to respect them in passing. But you know what? You can't deny their human uh, humanhood, uh, humanness, 100 percent, or you're going to endanger yourself more. So that's social competence, caring about all, care. Care is the soul's truth, okay? This is why the, they have to do this ritual, to, because even the most darkest 1% criminal, um, they have to do these rituals because inherently humans care. Most of them care, okay? They have to burn off their care because, and this is why I have to be a force or the part of the harmless force of the reinstatement, the revival of human care, because this is the only solution, not violence, not cowardliness, not go along to get along with the dog eat dog bullshit. No, I've had to care about people when they were about to kill me, mace me, you know, this is the key. This brings the peace. The care brings peace back. It's real. It's not fake like all the satanic stuff. Apathy is the enemy. I made this up years ago. Remember that. Apathy is the enemy. It's a good cliche, a good, a good meme for you. Um, asceticism um, or living in a tent, it actually obviously implies not just courage, but the actually not, care, care, not caring what Saturn or Satan wants or being able to have the faith to transcend it. Again, it's it's a little bit terrifying to me to think of, unless I move this tent to another county or state or somewhere else in this county, that it would be like um, giving up my uh, my children and my responsibility, you know. But that's one of the reasons I do this because I I want to share the fact that um, it's possible to be free as much as you have that faith and you know to the last moment. Um, Look, people, the laptop computer for me is the evidence at the, of the end of slavery. Okay? Why? Because of gnosis. Because free energy. The laptop, you can recharge the battery. has free energy. And it, you can learn about how to 
to run solar panels. You can learn about Tesla's inventions and even probably how to build them. There's probably people who put blueprints, if you got the money to go buy the parts at the hardware store, the electronics store, to build free energy machines off somewhere on the internet. Not on YouTube, but you know, there's plenty of videos on YouTube where people discuss that they have done it. So, um, again, we're allowed to talk about it and tell you the truth. Zero point, zero point energy is a reality, and that's really the truth. If you want to know why I haven't, I'm procrastinating. I want to kick my ass to get a hybrid car, but I procrastinate. So I just don't want to put, uh, contribute to the infernal combustion deal at all. And uh, David Wilcock was talking about, you know, he's going to have a company doing it. But again, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that they're trying to terrify him out of it. Um, he broke up his marriage after a few years. And okay, so Wi-Fi to me, Tesla. Did you know that Te Nikola Tesla brought Wi-Fi, introduced it to the world in the year 1893, 130 years ago. And it is free energy system that we're already using now, even though it fries us and so forth. Okay, so we, we're already living in the age, the dream. That we're living a Tesla's dream, okay? But we still have rent. We still have mortgage. We still have property tax. We still have utility bills because these people, because they want you to think, if you go to a public school, elementary school, that, you know, Tesla was crazy and Edison was, you know, the inventor of all this stuff. So, or electricity rather. So, but he was the guy who wanted to work with, with privatization, you know, the big boys. So it's all in the history folks. Um, so bringing the history and the future to the now, um, like I say, to create freedom, I want to, like, as Mark Passio said, morality brings freedom. So I'm here to, to help bring human care back. Um, and, and again, to show how I've healed my own body and my own subconscious, even partially in some ways, fully in other ways, through care, through self-respect. Okay. Um, since censorship is an omen that the person who's censoring doesn't care. Okay. Now, again, they might've been threatened for, had death threats or bribes or jail threats. Of course they did. But it also means that they're selfish enough to put themselves first. And So all the people that really love you and respect you and care, but then harmed you like in 2020 in the death rituals, it's not that they don't care. It's just that many of them are, are, are really selfish or they put themselves first or they put the fear of the dark side first. Okay, This is why you could never get a good result by obeying fear. Okay. Full disclosure implies full care. Your care of your psychology is your inner self. Um, rechargeable batteries are another example of how we already have free energy systems, solar panels, rechargeable batteries, laptops. You must reject the lies and the dogma to really care. That's so key. Um, Lucifer, Moloch, Mammon... Satanism, they are the inversion of care. Okay, Bruce Jenner, the inversion of care. Okay, that's what it is. I care for others because I'm free. And if I wasn't free, or if I was trapped or afraid in the dogmatic system, I couldn't do these videos. Abusive, narcissistic people's coercion on the empathic Pollyanna giving person is caving in. Um, it proves they're both too, too weak to actually care. Self-love implies equality in relationships, okay? When you love yourself, that means you're actually going to have equal respect. Wow, how about that? Can a white person say something like that and actually do it? I don't know. This show is an example of my personal resurrection of care. I bring my care up. I'm transcending my self-possession of 3D survival into helping others. Um, You can transcend the dumb um, idea that you don't care. When you say, I don't care, you can transcend that retarded idea. Um, the 2020 narrative, 
again, inversion of care and the, the using these climate change thing to, to make it freezing, not caring. Caring is respect, peace, and love, y'all. I love you.